Hello, in this video I will show you how you can take electricity from any electric car into your house. As you know most electric cars do not support di bi-directional charging and in this 2019 Chevrolet Bolt TV or Opel Ampere as it's called in Europe is exactly the same. You can only do type 2 charging and fast charging but there's no socket to get all this beautiful power into your house for example if there's a power outage so how you use this electric car or any electric car in case of a power outage as a backup power source is something I'll show you in this video stay till the end and I'll show you all the devices you can use with this solution here is a regular extension cord that I run via this solution from my electric car all the way to my house on the other side. Let me take you in the car and show how it works. We're now in the Chevrolet Bolt EV or Opa Ampera and this is the solution what gets you emergency backup power into your house and draws live power from the car. This is a portable portable uh, jump starter with built-in uh, compressor and it also has multiple sockets, USB sockets, uh, small 12 volt socket, but that's not the point. We're going to connect a regular extension cord, the one that you just saw outside, over here, which will power up our house. And this thing, while we're powering it on, this thing is going to make sure that this thing stays mostly charged let me show you how it works we'll connect it right here and as you can see the device switched itself on we're now at uh, 70 percent because i've been playing around with this but now you can connect an ac cord here and i'll take you into the house later with this device to show you what's all possible so here you have a live solution. The car uses its own battery to keep this device charged while you use certain appliances in your house. So let's plug in here this cord in the AC outlet. And bear with me. There you go. And uh, in the house you can attach a wide variety of appliances. Not, of course, uh, hugely uh, intensive uh, power drawing devices, but quite a lot of things, which I'll show you later. Now, what's key? In order for this to keep on working and this to keep on charging, is that you put your car, put your car in neutral. If you keep your car in neutral, car obviously won't roll away and that makes sure that uh, there's no timeout and that this keeps on charging now what I recommend um, even though the high voltage battery is of course enormous like 60 kilowatts in this car will always make sure that this one stays charged but just to be sure uh, that you're not consuming unnecessary uh, stuff switch off your car screen and what you can also do here is just uh, switch off the lights. Now and then you can just walk away, leave this as it is, it's charging. Close the door and lock the car. And now I'll take you in the house to see what you can connect to it. The first devices we're going to connect to this solution is this display laptop keyboard and printer so now it's on in the regular socket and now i'll connect it to the portable device and there you go you can connect your keyboard You can charge your laptop. You can print files. 
You can even watch TV on this 52 inch Philips TV. Let me show it to you. And there you go. You can watch TV in case there's a power outage and a long extension cord that I just show you outside can power up this device. Now let's see what else you can do with it. If you have a couple of extension cords hooked up onto this, you can even turn on multiple lamps. Let there be light. Can you connect this full size fridge to your electric car? Well, let's have a find out. Take the plug from the fridge. And this to show you to light it off. Connect it here to the AC outlet. Press the button. Activate the AC. And there you go, it's working. Now I wouldn't uh, recommend just connecting uh, huge devices uh, to this thing because this does have a power restriction uh, of about uh, 300 watts uh, continuously from what I uh, know. Uh, but you could connect small fridges to this, portable fridges and I mean let's be realistic we're looking here at an alternative device where you can draw emergency backup power from your electric car for multiple days and that you can sustain with and connect multiple appliances to. So obviously, not this full blown water boiler, but this little water boiler will be perfect. Of course, it's not as fast, but it takes about 20 minutes to have one liter of hot boiling water. And you just connect it here to one of those many convenient outlets and press the 12 volt button and you can use the fridge and this simultaneously. So you can have your instant coffee or your soup while there's a power outage. You just keep on going with this device. You can connect this cozy fireplace if you want to get all romantic during a power outage. You can charge your home phone if you want to go old fashioned and stay connected during a power outage. However, if there's no power, who you're gonna call? You can give yourself a relaxing massage to get de-stressed from all the power outage. Or you can give this device that's been helping you so far really good uh, a bit of a break uh, during a power outage. It also needs a bit of love sometime with all the good work it does. You can jumpstart the small battery of your electric car if it's dead and if there's a blizzard and there's a power outage with this uh, jumpstart cables. And you can even pump up your tire with the automatic building compressor that stops once you hit the desired tire pressure. You can even have a light on, charge your electric toothbrush while you are running on the cross trainer. Well, with this device, I would almost start looking forward to a power outage. So there you go. As you've seen, uh, many fantastic appliances and use cases uh, for this small device, which you can literally connect in the solution I showed you with the long extension cord and then uh, the inbuilt uh, charger in your car. It works on any electric car and uh, the high voltage battery immediately charges uh, that port uh, the moment you keep uh, the car turned on and uh, keep it running like that. If you have a garage, even better. If you don't have a garage, just lock your car and keep a small crack uh, to the window and uh, just run the cable through that into your house. And uh, it's perfect. The best, most creative um, and easy to use backup power solution using the uh, capacity of your electric car. And I mean, I know there's other solutions out there. I know that there's, for example, uh, people that have tried and actually succeeded to make an uh, inverter and connect it to the wiring uh, in, the, in the hood in the front of the car. 
Uh, that's that's a great solution, but there you need uh, you need to be a bit more careful. Uh, needs to be load balancing. You need to monitor that, make sure you don't consume too much, and it also involves a certain amount of wiring. In my opinion, uh, the solution that uh, that I showed you here today is the best out of the box solution that everybody can use uh, without having to do any hard wiring and uh, making any mistakes. So what I'll do is, um, I know that this device comes in uh, many shapes and sizes. I'll put uh, the link uh, on Amazon where I purchased this device uh, myself, uh, so you can check it out yourself. And uh, there's also other devices out there that do exactly the same. But uh, yeah, make sure uh, it looks like this and had, uh, has that uh, option for a reliable uh, AC outlet. So what do you think? Uh, is this a creative way to use the backup power capacity of your uh, electric car in case of a power outage that could last multiple days? Let me know in the comments below what uh, you think. And also if you have any suggestions uh, how you would use your electric car uh, besides the use cases that I've shown you, what would you do and what would you use uh, this solution for? Let me know please in uh, the comments um, if you found this entertaining and creative. I hope I have uh, uh, deserved a like and perhaps a subscriber. I would be uh, very happy. And uh, I'll think of more interesting videos uh, for electric cars and particularly my love for the Chevrolet Bolt TV Opel and PRI uh, that I'll try to entertain you with on the next time. Have a great weekend and uh, be careful during power outages and uh, stay well and enjoy your electric car. Bye bye.